Soldier friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly crave indulgence to please subscribe to this channel. Also hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Kindly share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so you can get to know what is happening. They can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you guys. I appreciate your support. In the early hours of Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020, a young lady was reportedly butchered by suspected armed headsmen at Ishiagu, Ivo local government area of Ebony State. According to an Abakliki based journalist, Oge Friday Igiri, the young lady was attacked by the headsmen as she was in the farm and saw them destroying the farm crops with their cattle. According to him, a detailed information has it that the headsmen tried to defile her, but she resisted them and they resorted to physical attack on her with machets and left her in the farm thinking she was dead. She laid in that farm in a pool of her blood and as God may have it, passers-by heard her scream and rushed to where she was. Immediately, they saw her in that terrible condition. They raised an alarm, which attracted the attention of other villagers to the scene. She was subsequently rushed to an undisclosed hospital for urgent medical attention. On reaching the hospital, efforts were made to save her life but it was to no avail. This is sad and unfortunately, and unfortunate, I beg your pardon. Unfortunately, a statement by uh, Oge Friday, Oge Friday Igiri says, unfortunately, the governor of Ebony State, Engineer David Mweze Umahi, has said nothing in condemnation to the dastardly terror attack unleashed on the innocent young lady which led to her death before they could reach the hospital. Biafran Abakliki reported. The horrible incident happened at Ishiagu in Ivo, local government area of the state in Ebony State, on the early hours of Tuesday, 22nd of February of, of September, I beg your pardon, 2020. As at the time of filing this report, the governor of the state had not said anything in condemnation to this barbaric act on the innocent young girl. It is now learned that the evil attack which has repeatedly occurred in that locality is just a few kilometers to Governor Dave Umahi's hometown in Uburu. Well, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? It is an unfortunate incident. At this point in time, we shouldn't be talking about headsmen attack again in the southeast. With the level of awareness that has been created and with the level at which, you know, issues have been talked about, with the level at which the youth of the southeast, IPOP members and other uh, southeast group have actually, you know, warned the Fulani headers and cattle breeders, as it were, against uh, grazing on farmlands as it, uh, and other uh, host communities. However, it seems that all this has not gone into, uh, or has not gone according to plan. But this is really, really sad and unfortunate. Headsmen at it again. Well, it is what it is. Drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Let, before that, let's quickly take a few reactions and let's hear what people are saying concerning these new stories. One now, Kenneth says, this is sad and unfortunately, why can't you people defend yourselves since the governor has failed us? Well, taking laws into hands will, may not be the right thing to do at the moment. And um, from the with, from the news story as it is, probably the young lady was all by herself in the farm. And um, 
she probably couldn't uh, do much than she did to resist, you know, being uh, defiled. Amechi Frank says, I remember what she said to those helping her. I couldn't continue. She said, hold my neck for my head is falling off. That statement of her drew tears from my eyes. Oh God, this is sad and unfortunately. Could this be uh, probably somebody that was on the scene saying this? Well, it is what it is. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. Chippy K. Anthony says, we are too quiet. If we fold our hands, it means we are afraid. We have to start killing them back. We hope the security agents, the governor of the state, and all stakeholders in the state would uh, take necessary actions and the steps to uh, quell this issue and uh, uh, work towards getting justice for the young woman. Chikwado says, very sorry, God will soon punish them with their evil deed. Well, it is what it is, but our government and the law enforcement agents must do the needful. Fulani people are not supposed to be in that community anymore, in that state anymore, since James Chinedu. Well, it is what it is. Kingsley Uchenna Ndumele says, what is all this? How can our so-called governors and their likes choose to condemn us this way. Can an Igbo man go as far as the north and kill a northerner and go free? The answer is no. This is too much to bear. The best solution is to this is separation. That is all. Another person says, I believe in action. The youth should retaliate. No. We don't want to cause mayhem. We don't want to cause unrest in the state that would eventually lead to more killings and loss of lives, loss of uh, properties and damages and injuries as it were. The governor should ensure that justice is done. The law enforcement agents take responsibility and do their job as it ought to be. Investigate the matter, get the court priest and, uh, to be prosecuted. That should be enough and should serve as deterrent to other uh, headers as it is. As a John Obinna says, unfortunately the young lady has died. My heart is all broken up. But one thing I still can't understand is why Ebonyi and Unsuka people keep showing preference to dine with the people of the north rather than close ranks with their Igbo brothers. Well, it is what it is. Guys, what do you think concerning this opinion? Ugochuku Hisense Aku says, Remember this girl is someone's daughter, but his own children are enjoying today. The governor must know that tomorrow is pregnant. No one knows tomorrow. Well, it is what it is. It is really, really sad uh, that this incident happened and it is sad that she fell victim. The government of Nigeria, the government of Ebony State and all other uh, security agencies in the state needs to and the communities need to come together to address this issue headsmen cannot leave their own land and come into another man's community and begin to take this type of actions it is not to be it shouldn't be head of it's time to be corrected it shouldn't be head of this type of acts should not continue and shouldn't be allowed at all it shouldn't be allowed at all well it is what it is guys be that as it were we pray that the family of the young lady will be uh, comforted by god it is really really sad and unfortunate well what are your thoughts guys concerning this particular news stories can you try at the comment section let's know what your thoughts are and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support.